without music, I mean, where would we be? I, I mean, how many, how many stories would we not know? Because that's how stories used to be told was through song, right? Because that's how you could remember it to pass well, it down. That goes back to, I mean, it's funny how everyone's into their, like, now everyone likes dance music and pop music, or everyone, I think, in this manosphere, maybe I could be wrong. But folk music, that's what folk music was. I mean, folk mm -hmm. music was carrying those stories, you know, from England and Ireland and around the country. And then obviously coming to America in the 50s and that got connected with the communist Red Scare. And then obviously Greenwich Village and Bob Dylan and all, you know, Joan Baez and Joni Mitchell and all that stuff. Um, but a lot of people will, will, would, you know, right now, probably this audience probably wouldn't think about, oh, folk music, that's that boring from New York or that whatever that is. And mm -hmm. then that became all these bands that did psychedelic music, where they're in San Francisco, San Francisco the Jefferson and Airplane and the Grateful Dead, they came from folk and country roots, those bands. And and now well, someone's asking about, blues. someone's asking, music, I, I don't know, but EDM, you're talking about electronic dance music. Is that what you're talking about? I don't have to like all, like, I, I'm not a huge rap fan, but I got into, um, you know, early times of rap of Grandmaster Flash and DJ Cool and those kind of, I, you know, it was around when I was growing up and stuff and I didn't get heavily into it. I got more into hip hop a little bit, but I'm not really heavily into that stuff. More into soul and funk. I love that stuff. So I know about this stuff, but obviously I don't know everything. And I'm sure someone could come and talk about EDM a lot better than I could. So. You know, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't know a, anything about not it. That I go to clubs much anymore, but if I go to a place I want to dance, that's what I want. I'm not going to dance to Bob Dylan. You know, I'm not going to dance to others. I mean, I don't think so. So there's different music for different times, you know? Mm -hmm. I was never into like the, the trance or the house music or uh, like the EDM, things like that. I like a good song with a good story. Um, and I mean, most of my favorites probably come out of the eighties and nineties anyways. Uh, but if I want dance music, I want something more hip hoppy and upbeat and like, not what like about the thing that was kind of big, I guess in the nineties or early 2000, like, you know, Buddha bar stuff, this trans, like, uh, Indian kind of, it, there's a bunch yeah. of Buddha bars that kind of Eastern stuff, but it's got like a. A, a, a circular rhythm to it. You'd have it like in, in sushi bars. Why, why, well, how did you end up in the vinyl community? I mean, obviously you liked that, that, um, the, like that form of music, but what really, did you just find it on your own? Did you start watching it before you well, got into I, it? Yeah, it's a good question because there's no membership card. There's no organized thing. Although there's a couple of guys, one in, in Manchester in particular, that wants to have these. He, he thinks there should be rules that you can't do this. or you. That's the thing about YouTube when you have your own channel. You can do whatever the fuck you want, right? <laughs> Isn't if I that want to say, For instance, okay? If I wow. want to get political. I know some people don't like the poll. I, I get political. I think I... I have over a thousand videos up, maybe like about 1200 videos up and probably less than 25, if that have political content. And, you know, I do it. It's my channel. And, you know, people don't like it. They move on. to me. That's, that's the thing I don't get. You switch the channel if you don't like it, you know? Yep. And if you want to comment, you disagree. Fine. But, um, right. I didn't know there was a, like a, a, a vinyl community right away. And then you start hearing these little acronyms, like someone said, well, I got some VCLT. Like, what the f does that mean? Sounds like you're, it's a venereal disease, but it's it's vinyl community love train. Someone started it way before my time where you take a record and you send records to other people free, like a, as a gift, like a chain, you know? Really? Like and this record, uh, if you had a record collection and... I say, oh, I love your stuff. You should check this out. I'm sending you a record. And uh, that's called VCLT, sending someone vinyl. So it's it's sort of a loose community of, because we all do a lot of these uh, videos. And and some people are in the community, but 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 it's like high school or college. It's so, <laughs> there are segments. There's people in the metals. There's the people in the soul and funk. There's jazz. There's people that overlap in all of them, you know, so... There is a, like, you've been on Rachel's show. That's a community, and and some people love it. And what's great about Rachel's morning daily show 
It's a free for all. It's a mm -hmm. fest. He knows that I say I it. I love it. Yeah. I've met Rachel and Rachel and I couldn't be farther apart politically and, and so much, but we had a great time together. And I'll get pissed off and she'll get pissed off. At me. She doesn't get pissed off at me. I get pissed off more, more at her about the political side of it. But it comes down back to the music. And um, there's the audio files. So there's a lot of different communities. Sure, like high school, there's a little bit of, a, you know, a, I don't want to say competition, but, the, you know, cross. Now, if I say crossing swords, some guys are going to say, you can't say that. <laughs> You know, but there's a little bit of uh, of the what do you call it? Um, I don't even know, but uh, but it's it's fun. But you don't sign a card, and um, it's whatever you want it to be. Sorry.